All right, let's get into the base Statomic install. Uh, we'll start with Statomic 2.2. We're gonna unzip this here. And we're gonna give this uh, the name of the website. So we'll just call it Saratoga, so it's nice and short. Get rid of that. And then we'll get here in our command line. So we're gonna go to learn Saratoga. And we're using, uh, we, I say we, it's me, it's just me and you following along. Uh, I'm using Valet, so we'll just do uh, Valet link Saratoga. And then we can open our browser and go to saratoga.dev. All right, so you'll see the default Statomic theme with sample content and all of that. Every zip includes that. Uh, we feel it's useful for people, for learning. Um, and so the really one of the first steps when you're building a new bespoke website is to just wipe all that stuff out. So let's get right into that. PHP please. Now, if you're familiar with Laravel, uh, we renamed the artisan command please because I think it's fun to be very polite to your command line. So PHP please, and if you just hit enter, you'll get a list of the commands available to us. And we're gonna use clear sight, all right? So we're gonna do PHP please clear sight. And this is gonna wipe out all of that content, all the user files, all that stuff, everything you don't need. Actually, we'll go uh, dash dash force, and that skips uh, the prompt where it's asking you to go step by step. And we've just saved literally six seconds. So if uh, that's all you've done, maybe it's worth the time and money. It's up to you if you feel that way. And the next thing we're gonna do is run the installer. So come over here, we'll see that the site is now empty. We'll go to slash installer. And now we're gonna check the server compatibility. So really what you need is PHP 5.5.9 uh, because we're using Laravel 5.1. That's really our, our limitation on the PHP requirement. All this stuff is all set. Mod rewrite is unknown in a nice little alert red. That's because I'm um, using um, Valet 2, which uses Nginx, and there is no mod rewrite. So you can safely ignore that. It's gonna look at your permissions, ask for a license key. If you have one, put it in now. You can always add it later, that's fine. We'll continue in trial mode or you know developer mode. And then the next settings uh, that Statomic's gonna ask you for is your base locale. So this would let you do multilingual translation. So you can come in here, like add extra locales, or I can remove those. I like to just use um, a slash here for my URL so I don't have to worry about setting environment variables. Um, this way, my site is a little bit more portable as I move it around. We'll enable debug mode because uh, we're in development. So it's good to see the full description of any error messages as they happen. Now we're going to create our first user and that user is used for the control panel. Uh, I like to build as much as possible without using the control panel. Working with the files in most cases is a lot faster and more productive because uh, you can copy and paste stuff really easily. It's a whole lot less clicking. You can save keystrokes and commands and text editor snippets and all sorts of stuff. You can copy and paste configs from other sites that you've done before. So uh, while I'm using the installer here, the next segment I'll show you how to recreate these same things without using the installer. And um, I would really recommend creating a base theme and setup that you can start with. Uh, it's really easy to upgrade Statomic, it's one click or you just delete the Statomic folder and uh, drop the new one in. So if you have your little bootstrap file or folder or repo set up, you can just start with that, drop Statomic in and you're off and going. But anyway, we'll continue here. Set our password, words, and create our user. So that should finish up, take us right into the control panel where we'll see that there is no pages and no content. Things are hidden in the sidebar because they don't exist yet, and that's cool. Uh, we'll open this up in Atom, my code editor of choice these days, and we'll set a few things up here. Uh, we can get rid of these config files. Actually, let me just, let me open this up in Finder so you can see a little better. Uh, we're gonna Get rid of these configs, these sample files. I like to keep it as clean as possible. I don't need those. Next, I'll rename sample.env and sample git ignore. 
So we'll have those in place. Next, uh, this is a good opportunity to create your first commit. So I'll do git init, git add, takes a second. I just straight up include everything, content, themes, settings, statomic. I feel like, yeah, you know, a couple extra megabytes for the statomic folder might be a pain uh, or might feel weird to some people, but it really makes rolling backwards and forwards and being able to detect like, oh no, there's a bug or something like rolling back and forwards makes everything just easier to have it in a repo. Uh, if you have a gigantic site with tons of assets, um, we might do that in a future course, like how to break it up into smaller, more portable pieces. But for now, just put everything in the repo. Uh, you'll probably be happy you did. It's just so much easier. All right, so we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do our first commit here. Initial commit with sparkles and there we go, cool. We're all up to date, great. So this is really the base install. We're ready to start building. Um, the next thing you would wanna do is create your theme. So we'll do that, um, not in the next episode, but the following one, because I'm gonna show you how to skip the installer.